Hi, I'm Tom Stone, the National Sales Manager of Industrial Markets for Thermal Care. Thermal Care has been in the process cooling and temperature control business for over 50 years, serving 50 different industries. Today, we're going to be talking about the Aquatherm RQE series. A temperature controller does exactly what it says, controls temperature. Typically, it's used to control the process fluid supplying an injection mold. This helps the molding process to produce consistent parts. But these units can also be used in a variety of different applications, including sterilizing processes or even controlling chemical reactions. The RQE series is available with a 9 kilowatt all the way up to a 48 kilowatt heater, and the pumps are available in 3 quarter horse all the way up to 10 horsepower. This gives us the ability to customize the unit to exactly match the demands of the system. The basic operation of a temperature control unit, or TCU, consists of the TCU loop, or process loop, and a cooling source. The unit will recirculate fluid through the process and either heat or cool based upon the temperature of the fluid returning to the TCU. In the instance where heating is required, we use an immersion heater that will add energy to the system and raise the temperature. In the instance where we require cooling, there are two methods to do this. One is direct injection, and the other is indirect cooling. For direct injection cooling, whenever the system requires cooling, a valve is open allowing fluid to escape from the TCU loop. It is then replaced directly by the cooling source. That mixing then lowers the temperature. For indirect cooling, the cooling source actually passes on the other side of a heat exchanger from the TCU loop. Whenever the cooling is required, a cooling valve is open, allowing that cooling source to flow through that heat exchanger. Direct injection offers some benefits as well as some detractions. Whenever you mix directly into your TCU loop, you're offering the chance for contamination of the fluid but you're also afforded a greater ability to provide cooling, so in a greater capacity. With indirect, you're now limited by the heat exchanger's ability to transfer the energy, but you have isolated the TCU loop from the cooling source and eliminated that potential for contamination. The RQE series includes many designs and features to make it stand out in the market. It includes a tools-free lift-off panel, and that panel also does not include any ventilation holes because they're not required. This helps to protect the insides of the unit from any potential spills. The TCU loop consists of the pump here, the heater tube here, and the mixing tube. The pump and all of the various selections are among the most efficient available on the market. They can even produce up to 70% more flow from a comparable horsepower pump. With those units, the energy savings alone has been shown to save customers up to hundreds of dollars per year. We also include high temperature seals and an integral flushing system to extend the life of those pump seals. The mixing tubes, heater tubes, and pumps use gasket seals instead of threaded fittings. Threaded fittings cause additional pressure loss in the system, as well as are more prone to leaks. The heater elements are in colloid sheathed, and they are the best combination of performance and longevity. Additionally, they're more corrosion resistant than copper or stainless steel. Finally, we include an additional length of power cable to the motor of the pump here which actually allows the motor to be taken out completely without disconnecting that power cord so that you can change the pump seal. Now we're going to talk about the RQE series control panel. The controllers come in three varieties, a basic, a standard, and a premium. The premium controller actually provides a communication protocol to remotely monitor and operate the unit. The control panel itself is built with a sloped top as you can see here, for easy viewing. It also shows a supply and return pressure gauge that can be seen while operating the unit. The standard and premium controller units incorporate solid state relays that utilize also a fan in the panel to keep the components cool to extend their life. The control circuit is 24 volt DC, 
which helps protect the control circuit from any sort of interference and allows stable, consistent operation. The controller will automatically purge air from the TCU loop at startup unless the system is already at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. This avoids cooling the system down if there were a temporary power interruption. The seal saver program will actually continue to run the pump at shutdown which will help cool the system and protect the pump seal from any damage. The RQEs are available with the industry best warranty of three years for parts and labor and lifetime warranties for the pump and heater casting as well as the pump seal. The RQEs are often available from stock or are a quick lead time. They're also extremely cost effective. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you learned something.